coming down from God out of heaven. You Jews, you migrate to this Jerusalem. You go at what you call the willing wall. Earthly. Residing from the Torah. Valley. Earthly. Glorying in your Judaism. But there's a Jerusalem not made with hands. Eternal. In the heavens. Jesus said, I go away from here. That where I am, you may be also. John said, the city, fire force, the breath, and the height thereof. They're equal. God did it. Went away from him. To establish a home. Glory to God for the church. 144,000. God kept his agreement with Abraham and got 12,000 out of each tribe. Yes, sir. He kept his agreement. Yes, sir. But God wasn't stopping with Abraham. Arise up. He said, there's a number. That's right. No man can number. No man. These were their red and white robes. So for that group, he said, I'm going away. Yes, sir. A bad place for you. <laughs> that where I am, yes, sir. you may be awesome. John said, I saw New Jerusalem. Notice the language of the city. And he carried me away. New Jerusalem. Now, this new Jerusalem, you can't take a bus trip or a plane to see it. This is the way you got to see it. Revelation chapter 21 and at verse 10. That's right. And he carried me away. How? In the spirit. What? He carried me away in the spirit. He carried me away. In the spirit. In the spirit. To a great and high mountain. Amen. The spirit. Took him around a high mountain. That's right. And, and showed me. And he showed me. That great city. That great city. The holy Jerusalem. The holy. Wait, now, now. Jerusalem here on earth is not holy. No. Someone said, what? You're not holy. That's right. Because you Jews allow homosexual parades in the streets of Jerusalem. And you are not holy. Jerusalem there on this earth have became equal to Sodom and Gomorrah and you are corrupt by your sins. Talk to me. It doesn't matter if Trump recognized Jerusalem as a capital. I don't mean nothing. A sinner Represent or recognize a city yes. as a capital? That right. don't mean nothing. No, no. We are not preparing. Some folks say, I want to go to Israel. I don't care if I don't never go to Israel. You just people, brick, mortar, stone. Don't you know there's a people that's superior to the Jew? There's a people superior to the Jew. There's a people of the last days. The Jew is connected to Abraham by the flesh. They that are after the flesh cannot please God. You got to be after the spirit. You're related to Abraham by the flesh. But you got to be connected to the God of Abraham by the spirit. Wonderful, what is that? Wonderful, and, Wonderful, and he carried me away Beautiful. in the spirit. Carried me away in the spirit. To a great and high to mountain. A great and high mountain. And showed me, showed me that great city. That great city. The holy Jerusalem. The holy Jerusalem. Descending Amen. out of heaven from God. Descending Wonderful. out of heaven from God. Having the glory of God. Wait a minute. Jerusalem now in the Middle East ain't got the glory of God. No, you ain't got the glory of God. I dare you to tell me you have. That's right. You don't have the glory of God no more. You failed. Yeah. Because it was in Jerusalem where water and spirit was preached. That's right. Yeah. That's right. All right. Having the glory of God. Having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious. Her light 
was like a stone most precious. Even like unto a, a jasper. Like unto a jasper. Clear as crystal. Clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high. Glory to God. Talk about New Jerusalem. The wall was great. And high. And high. And had 12 gates. Had 12 gates. And at the gates, 12 angels. And at angels. the gate had 12 what? 12 angels. 12 angels. And names written thereon. And the names are written on it. Which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. Now, what do you mean had 12 angels? Twelve angels represent messages. Right. Meaning God had a message for each tribe. That's, right. That's all that is. That's right. I want to be good for the Hebrew Israelite that wrote me and asked me to explain that scripture. That's right. Notice what it says there. And he had and had a wall great and had high. Had a wall great and high. And had twelve gates. And had twelve gates. And at the gates, twelve angels. Why would it be a gate? That lets you know that, you, that, that Israel had permission from God to enter and to exit. That's right. Uh-huh. And at the gates, twelve and at angels. The gate had twelve angels, meaning there was a messenger. And names written thereon. And own, names written thereon. Which are the names of names the twelve of the tribes 12 of the children of Israel. Of Israel. Uh -huh. On the east three gates. Three gates. On the north three gates. Three gates. On the south three, three gates. gates. And on the west three, three gates. gates. And the wall of the city. The wall of the city. Had twelve foundations. Wait a minute. Now, you, you got the gates. Right. And you got the angels. Yes. You got to have a foundation. Foundations. Right. Now, I want to show you the greatness of the foundation. That's right. The foundation is greater than the angels. That's right. Yeah. Amen. What is that? And the wall of the city had 12 so foundations. Take God, the wall of the city had 12 foundations. And in them, in them, the names of the 12 apostles of the Lamb. Yeah. You hear, the, you hear the apostles standing up with Brother Peter. Let all the house of Israel know it surely. That God has made the same Jesus whom you crucified, both Lord and Christ. Notice the names. And the names of the twelve apostles. The names of the twelve apostles. Of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. The name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb. Hold it right there. Why did it say the name of the twelve apostles of the Lamb? Because when he was the Lamb, or when he was walking here flesh and blood, that's, that's when he chose twelve. That's right. He chose twelve. That's why Paul name ain't that. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's why Paul name ain't that. That's right. Twelve apostles of the Lamb. Because when the Lamb was here, Paul was in the, among the apostles. That's right. That's why the twelve of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Twelve. Mm -hmm. That don't include Paul. No. Twelve of the Lamb means twelve of the Son of God. That's right. The ones that walk with him, yeah. talk with him, yeah. ate with him, yeah. handled him. That's right. That's of the Lamb. Of the Lamb. Glory to God. All right, come on, Dan. I was studying Jehovah's Witnesses. I need to know what you think about the 144,000. All right, I told you what it is. All right. Uh, and, and Colossians 1, verse 15. All right, Colossians 1, 15. Amen. When it says Jesus is the firstborn of all creation. We're straightening that out. In all Colossians right. chapter 1. Begin at verse 14. And at verse 14. All right. In whom we have redemption through his blood. Now, when God Almighty manifests himself in the flesh, that body was God's form, God's shape, God fashioned, the mediator, the son of God that was made. For God's glory. That's right. It was through that body that he would redeem man and reconcile man to God. That's right. Man fell and came short of the glory of God, and by his transgression, sin came into the world. That's right. And Jesus came into the world and manifest uh, the wisdom of God and the power of God and the glory of God. And through his manifestation of flesh and blood, yeah, right. he would come along and take sin away from the human family. Right. What did he say? In whom we have redemption through his blood. We have redemption. That's why blood is shed. Right. That we may be redeemed. Mm -hmm. and Even the forgiveness of sins. And the forgiveness of sins. Who is the image of the invisible God. Now wait a minute. God's image was God's form. Right. God's form was God's shape. Right. God's shape was God's fashion. And God's fashion was God's figure. And God's figure was the mediator. And the mediator was the body. And the body was the minister. And the minister was the son of David. And the son of David was the son of God. And the son of God was the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. That's right. So that body was the image of who? Of the invisible God. Amen. That was the lion within the lamb. That's right. And you couldn't see the lion. The invisible God was the power that was in Jesus. It was the force that was in Jesus. Jesus, and it was the authority that was in Jesus. Right. And it was the Holy Ghost that was in Jesus. Right. When the Bible says Jesus of Nazareth was full, was filled Thanks of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Right. That means he was full of God. That's right. Yeah. That's right. God was in him. Was in Don't him. you hear Paul said to wit, God was in Christ Jesus, right. reconciling the world. Who would take God to himself? Right. All right, William. Who is the image of the invisible God? He's the image of the invisible God. The firstborn. The firstborn. Of every creature. Hold it right there. There, glory to God on high, the firstborn of every creature. Listen, this is the first time that a child was born, different from every other creature on the planet. That's right. Firstborn. Firstborn of every creature. Of every creature. Every creature. Another scripture says in the book of Revelation, he's the first begotten of the dead. The dead. That's why he's called first and last. Firstborn of every creature. Every other creature came 
through the involvement of flesh. That's right. That's right. That's right. But this one, this one, you better give me the book of St. John if you will, move fast. That's right, St. John chapter 1. Uh, let, let, let's read this when he says, not of blood, mm -hmm. right. nor of the will of the flesh. St. John chapter 1, we're at verse 13. Follow me. Which were born. Talking about the birth of Jesus. Wow. The first the first, first, first born, born of every creature. Of every creature. Now, I want this. To, I want you to get this because you blind Jehovah Witness have said the first born of every creature mean that the Son of God was in heaven and was born in heaven. All right, if he was born in heaven, who was his mama up there? And others of you are so full of hell and so blind, you said the Son of God with flesh and blood came down from heaven. Don't you hear the Bible say flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God? Son of God with flesh and blood ain't never been in heaven and did not come down from heaven. What came down from heaven was spirit. And the spirit overshadowed the woman. And then when it overshadowed the woman, it made that holy thing. The thing that was holy was the Son of God. And when the body was born, God was in the thing. That's right. God was in that holy thing. That's right. Reconciling the world unto himself. That's right. If you wanted to get to God, you first had to accept the performance of the Son of Man yeah. or the Son of God or that body. That's what he meant when he said, No man, glory to God, come to the Father. No man can get to the Spirit except by me. In other words, if you want to be connected to the eternal life, you got to first accept the performance of the natural life. All right. Which were born. Which is born. Not of blood. I want to show you this because that body of flesh and blood was superior to ours. That's right. Oh, yes. It was superior. Oh, yes. Better than ours. Yes. That's why Paul said he was made in the likeness yes. of yes. sinful flesh. In the likeness. That's right. He wasn't sinful flesh, no. but he was in the likeness of it. He looked like it. Looked like it. Amen. But he was better than it. That's right. Glory to God. Which were born. Which was born. Not of blood. Not of blood. Nor of the will of the flesh. Wait a minute. Not of blood. Not of blood. But when a man and a woman come together and that man discharged seed in the woman within the seed of that man, blood is there. That's right. There was no mixture of the sinful blood of the human race tied up in his body. That's right. And not of blood. Amen. Not of blood. Nor, nor of the will of the flesh. Hey, nor the will of flesh. Well, that, that roll out Mary and Joseph sleeping together for Jesus to get here. That's right. Hey? That's right. All right. Nor of the will of man. What? Nor of the will of man. Look at it. God just crushing man being tied That's right. to the arrival of That's the right. Son of God. That's right. But of what? But of God. It was of whose will? Of God. You hear God talking out his will all down through the Bible. Oh, yes. Amen. Amen. Bless God just sending the prophets ahead of the flesh. And you hear Isaiah talking about that a sign shall be that a virgin shall be with child and thou shalt call his name Emmanuel being interpreted God with us. Amen. Amen. Under us a child is born and a son is given and the government shall be upon his shoulder and the name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Right. And even when Jacob was about to die, right. he examined all his sons but when he got to Judah, he saw something in Judah he didn't see in none of them. He told Judah, well thou art he whom thine brethren go and pray it is thy hand shall be in the neck of thine enemy. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah, thou art a lion's wept from the prey, my son. You stoop down. Your couch as a lion and as an old lion. Who shall rise him up? The scepter or the authority or the power shall not depart from Judah nor a lawgiver from between his feet until Shiloh come. And when he get here under him, shall the gathering of the people be. Then Jacob said, binding his fold to the vine. Hold it, brother right, Jacob. Here right. comes Jesus coming here now, saying, I'm the true vine. Right. Yeah, I am the true vine. He was. Jacob he was. said he's going to bind his fold to the vine. Jesus said, oh, the sheep that I have, but they're not of this fold. That's right. Yeah. I'm going to bring them in also. That's right. What do you say, son? Binding his fold unto the vine. And his ashes go to the choice vine. He washed his garments in wine. He washed his garment in what? In wine. And what about his clothes? And his clothes in the blood of grace. Isaiah said, uh, who is this that's coming from Edom with a dyed garment from Bozar? His glory is to his apparel to in the greatness of his strength. I that speak of the righteousness, he's mighty to save. You saw his garment get washed in the blood of grace. When he was up on the cross, thank God, the true vine. Thank God was up on the cross hanging. Thank God between heaven and earth. Who was the true vine? The son of God. Christ Jesus. There's a lie out now. People say that Pastor Janice don't believe that Jesus died. Uh, he died Lord. and rose right. and ascended above all heavens. Right. Amen. The son of God was there on the cross. Thank God. And there were some thieves hanging around there. Uh, and when time come, bless God for their legs to be broken, their legs were broken. 
But when they came to Jesus, they said, thank God, not a bone would be broken. They, they couldn't break his leg because he was dead already. And after they realized that he was dead, they pierced him in the side. Out came blood and water, fulfilling the prophet that they shall look upon me. Whom they have pierced. One prophet said, they pierced my hands and my feet. Let the habitations be desolate. And don't let no one dwell there in their tents. And that which have been for welfare, let it become a trap. Amen. So he being the firstborn of every creature, that was the first time that God ever stopped at a house and got a woman and made a body in the body of a human being without that woman had relation. And then that body come into existence and he called it a son. That's right. Firstborn. Firstborn. That's right. Of every creature. Of every Amen. creature. Yeah. Amen. All right. For by him. By by them. By him. One preacher said, well, firstborn of every creature means he was the first one born again and was put in the church. That's a lie. That's a lie. Jesus didn't need no new birth. No. Jesus ain't need no new birth. No, no. How he gonna need the new birth and tell you I'm the way, yes. the truth, and the life. Jesus didn't need no new birth. No, no. A person that needs the new birth has to come out of sin. That's right. Jesus knew no sin. No yes. sin. That's right. What else did he say? For by him were all things created. The firstborn of every creature. The firstborn of every creature. What else? For by him were all things created. All right, the creature didn't create nothing. No. The creature was created itself. That's right. What you mean by him? The spirit that was in that creature was the creator of the universe. Right. Is that all that? That, that, that was at verse 16. All right. Finish 15. All right, let's get the next letter. Come on. Paris, France, from Brother Lafleur Eric. He says, my name is Abraham. My name is Abraham in France, Paris. He said, formerly from Africa. I've been following your teaching. I can say, is, I can say, is God that direct me to you because I've been praying for wisdom and understanding of God Almighty, Jesus' his word. And the next morning I saw your video on YouTube. From that day, you have been helping me to understand the scriptures. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Sir, I have five questions. All right. Number one, if the trumpet sounds now and that I have not yet been baptized, will I go to heaven? No. St. John chapter 3. If you heard the word of God preach, heard about the baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, let me show you what Jesus said. St. John chapter 3 and at verse 5. Tell you what. Jesus answered, Verily, verily, I say unto thee. Yes. Except a man be born of water. Except a man be born of water. And of the spirit. And of the spirit. He cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Did Jesus say you can't get in? That's right. If you hear it and you hear it and you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ and the trump of God blast of the heavens indicating Jesus is here, no. Uh -huh. Bible said, so it says what there? Except a man be born, of, a man be born of the water and of the spirit, he, he cannot, cannot enter. If the Lord say you can't get in, then uh, you're not going to slide any other way. Right. If you come any other way, you're a thief and a robber. That's right. All right, next question. Question number two. Yes. Can someone receive the Holy Ghost without being baptized with water? Yes. Yes. Yes, somebody can receive the Holy Ghost, which is the Holy Spirit, which is the power of God or the presence of God, before they're actually baptized. Acts right. chapter 10. Notice the 10th chapter, the book of Acts, beginning at verse 44. While Peter yet spake the words. The Holy Ghost. Brother Peter, bless the name of our God Amen. on high, was preaching to the Gentiles, the house of Cornelius, which were Italians. Amen. And while Peter was speaking the word of God, the Holy Ghost, or the power of God, or the presence of God, came upon all them heard that the was word. in the presence of Peter that heard the word. Mm -hmm. And they of the circumcision which believed were stuck. They that were Jews that was already believers, they were amazed. As many as came with Peter. Those that accompanied Peter. Because that on the Gentiles also was poured out the gift of the Holy Ghost. How did these Italians know they had the Holy Ghost? For they heard them speak with tongues. How did they know? They heard them speak with tongues. I want, I want you viewers to get this. I want you viewers to get this. Because some of you said you had the Holy Ghost. And you haven't even heard yourself speak in tongues. That's right. How did they know these Italians had it? They heard them speak with tongues. And what? And magnify God. All right, what did Peter say? Then answered Peter, can any man forgive All right, all right, water? Paris, Paris. I want all of Paris and France and Europe to get this. Then answered Peter. If anyone listening and watching right now had the Holy Ghost, yeah. but you're not baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. your salvation is not complete. Right. Listen. Then answered Peter. What? Can any man forbid water? Wait a minute. They got the Holy Ghost first. Yes. Right. They got it while Peter was preaching. Yes. 
They was all magnifying God and happy and rejoicing, but Peter let them know you ain't finished. That's right. That's right. You got some more to do. Amen. Peter said what? Can any man forbid water? You can, can you forbid water? That these should not be baptized. What? Which have received the Holy Ghost as well as we. And what did Peter say? And he commanded them. No. He, he requests. He commanded them. You know, when a commandment comes, that means you better do it. That's, That's right. right. Amen. Amen. You better do it. And he Amen. commanded them. He commanded them. To be baptized in the name of the Lord. When you're baptized in the name of the Lord, you'll be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. Right. So yes, you can receive the Holy Ghost first before you're baptized. But in order to have the complete new birth, Amen. that's why Peter recommended and commanded you got to have water. That's right. Because he remembered the words of his teacher. Amen. You must be born of the water and of the spirit. Right. Of the spirit. They got the spirit first. But they didn't have the water, and Peter commanded them to be baptized in water in the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. All right, next question. Question number three. Sir, do you believe in those who say the Lord Jesus took them to heaven and hell for a visit and to testify? Well, there were prophets whom the Lord took up with. And uh, they was able to write about it. There was a parable made. About the rich man in hell. Parable me. That's right. Have anybody actually been sent to hell? No. No. So when people tell me in a dream they went to hell, then uh, come back and tell about it, and their description is not follow in line with what the Lord say the way hell was. Or the way heaven is, right. I don't believe a word of it. That's right. I have to take, if the spirit get a hold of you yeah. and show you like it did prophets, you know, like John. John said, I saw heaven open. That's right. Then there, That's right. let's read that, son. My God, man, come on, give me the book of Revelation. Revelation 4, Amen. verse Chapter 1. Chapter 4, beginning at verse 1. After this I look. And what? And behold, a door was opened a in heaven. A door was opened where? In heaven. Wonderful. And what did he say? And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet talking. All me. right, so these folk that say they've been in heaven, how many gods did they see? Did they see the Trinity? Yeah. That's right. Yeah, I mean, did they see the Trinity? Yeah. Some say, well, I went to heaven, I saw people of the earth up there. How are you going to see people of the earth up there? The resurrection didn't take place yet. That's right. right. That's right. That's right. Huh? Unless God show you what will be. Come up hither. Any vision or any dream that anybody, I'm not saying it's not possible. What I am saying is that if God show anybody anything that's linked to eternity, right. that vision or that dream cannot contradict what the prophets and the apostles have already seen by the Spirit of God. I will show thee things which must be hereafter. All right, so if God show anybody anything that must be hereafter, it got to coincide with those that was here before them. And All right, Dan, come on. Question number four. Is it possible that every Adam on earth, there is an Eve? For I don't want to make a mistake in marriage, this person says. The Bible ain't never said there's a woman for every man. In fact, let me go as far as telling you. No. What you say, Pastor Jennings? But you read that the woman was made for the man. That's right. That's who she was made for. But let me give you Bible to prove that marriage is not for every man. First Jesus taught us about eunuchs. I want you to hear, I want you to listen. Jesus taught us about eunuchs of different class. Matthew chapter 19. Follow me, follow me. Matthew chapter 19. Follow me. Amen. No, there's not a Eve for every Adam. Right. My God, there's many prophets that were not married. Right. And I don't read where all the apostles was married either. No. All right. For, uh, St. Matthew chapter 19. Yes. And we're at verse 12. Uh -huh. Or we'll start at verse 11. All right. But he said unto them, all men cannot receive this saying. Uh -huh. Amen. <laughs> he started off hitting men hard. hard. Yes, sir. Amen. Yes, like they couldn't receive Jesus teaching then. They can't receive Jesus' teaching now. That's right. Uh -huh. All men cannot receive this saying. Yes. Save they to whom it is given. All right. Wait what? a minute. Save they to whom it's given. It is given. Everybody can't receive it. Save the one to whom it's given. That's right. In other words, the ones that want to be compliant with the saying, right. they can take it. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. All right. For there are some eunuchs. There are some 
eunuchs, which were so born from their mother's womb. Born from their mother's womb. Now, that's a male, man child. That's right. Born from the womb and just don't have no desire to get married. That's right. He wants to give his mind, soul, body, and spirit over to God. Right. Amen. For the kingdom of the Lord's sake. He just want to serve God. Amen. And just don't, he ain't gay. No, no. <laughs> That's right. That's right. right. Go ahead, Pops. Go ahead. Special men. In fact, I believe Daniel was one of them. That's right. Amen. Something that God got to make. It. Amen. I want you to notice the category now. For there are some eunuchs which were so born. They were born this way. From their mother's womb. From the womb. That means from the womb. As they grew old, as they got older, they realized, you know what? I, I don't want to marry. It's just not in me to be with no woman. I don't want to marry. Someone say, you describe a homosexual. No, I'm not. Because you that don't want no woman, yet you want a man. You ain't no unit. You ain't no unit. No way. You are perfect. That's right. That's right. Yeah, hear the old troublemaker now. Amen. What is that? But there are some eunuchs. Class one. Which were there so, are some eunuchs. Which were so born from their mother's so womb. So born from the womb. And, and there are some eunuchs. Class two. Which, what else? Which were made eunuchs of men. Made eunuchs of men. Mm. A man may get gilded. Yes. Right. Right. Private parts yes. move. That's right. That's right. Or he can be made eunuchs of a man another way. A man can injure him where he can't function. Or he can be made a eunuch another way, taking too much man-made medication, make everything inactive. Made eunuchs of men don't mean he don't have the desire. It means he can't perform with the desire. So he has no choice but to be a eunuch or to abstain right. from or not involve himself with. That's right. Amen. That's made of man. Amen. Because he ain't got no choice. Amen. That's right, sir. That's it. Now do you get me? That's right. That's class two. Class two. All right. And there be eunuchs. Here you got class three. And there be eunuchs. And be eunuchs. Which have made themselves eunuchs. Wait a minute. Eunuchs. No, God made them. Which have made themselves eunuchs. Man made them. Have made themselves. All right. Eunuchs. Here's a group that made themselves. They got the desire, but they just chose to abstain. Yet everything functioned on them the right way. That's right. That's right. But they won't give in to it. Which have made themselves eunuchs. For what reason? For the kingdom of heaven's sake. Right. They just choose not to marry. Amen. That's it. They got all that lust in them. But they just included. I'm not going to do it. That's right. That's like Brother Paul. Yeah. Amen. That's like Brother Paul. Yeah. Someone said, Paul was like that? Yes. Because Paul told you about his past life. That's right. Give me the third chapter. Uh, Paul talked about his past life. That's right. How he was uh, a persecutor and an injurious, served direst lusts and pleasures. And pleasures. Yeah. First Timothy 1 and verse 13. First Timothy 1 13. Who was before? Uh oh. First Timothy 1 13. Who was First it? Timothy 1 13. First Timothy 1 and verse 13. Now he's going to let you know the way he was before he was born again. Before right. God made him apostle, this how wicked and wild and foolish he was. Who was before a blasphemer. All right, look at here. Yeah. Never forget where God brought you from. That's right. That's right. That's right. Brother Paul said before God saved him, he was what? A blasphemer. He was a blasphemer. And a persecutor. He was a persecutor. And the ones he persecuted was the people of God, the church. Right. All right. And injurious. He was an injurious. That means you ran up on Paul, you had somebody to contend with, he'll hurt you. That's right. Amen. <laughs> That's right. Paul'll hurt you, man. That's right. All right. But I obtained mercy. Thank God for that. Hallelujah. All right. Be because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. Yes. And the grace of our Lord Jesus was exceeding abundant with faith. The grace of our Lord Jesus was exceeding abundant with faith. I didn't know what went on. It was a long pause there. You. Oh. All right. I got you, Pastor. You got you? Oh, yeah. All right. Come on, sir. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant Give me the third with faith. Chapter, book of Titus. Now in Titus chapter 3, and we start at verse 3. Paul included himself in this. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish. Talking about his past again. That's right. And, every, and I'm pretty sure everybody in here 
can identify with something that he's about to read. You may jump and shout now, but you, you wasn't always jumping and shouting and raising your hands. When you was out there in the world, you went to your clubs, didn't you? Amen. Out there popping your fingers, shaking your head, and biting your lips. Some of you was walking down the street drunk. Just drunk. Standing in front of cars. Acting like a flasher. When you look back on your life, you was wild. Foolish. Full of the devil. Listen at us. We, we ourselves also were that sometimes. You, that includes me. <laughs> Got you too, Ellen? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Come on, Williams. I want you to read about your past. We ourselves <laughs> also were sometimes <laughs> foolish. We ourselves. We ourselves also were sometimes foolish. What else were we? Disobedient. What else were we? Deceived. What else were we? Serving diverse lusts. What else were we? And pleasures. What else were we? Living in malice and envy. And? Hateful and hating one another. What happened? But after that. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hallelujah. Thank God. After that. After all this description of our past. After that, the kindness, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared. How? Not by works of righteousness which we have done. That means nobody deserved it. That's right. That's right. None of us deserved it. No, no. But what? But according to his mercy. What did he do for us, son? He saved us. How did he do it? By the washing of regeneration. By the baptism in the oh, name of Jesus Christ. Christ. And renewing. Renewing. Of the Holy Ghost. His mercy got us here. Hallelujah. Yeah. Who done it. All right, come on, Dan. Question number five. Yes. Is it good to marry with a ring? No. It's not good to do anything that God say you can't have. That's right. All right, you better move Isaiah. quick in the third chapter of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah. And begin at verse 16. Move fast because the clock is ticking. Mm -hmm. Amen. Come on, son. Isaiah chapter 3 and we're now at Now, let me just 16. say this. A ring ain't never made a person faithful since a ring's been here. That's right. Amen. Amen. Wait a minute, Pastor Janice. They put a ring on Joseph. Uh, the ring that they gave Joseph, the son of Jacob, me, he became a mighty governor down in Egypt. That ring was a symbol that he came in power. Hallelujah. That's all that was. Yeah. Amen. He came in power. So now the power we have is not on our finger. The power we have is in our heart. Yeah. The Bible said, tarry until you be endued with power from on high. So the ring now is not on our finger. Thank God, but it is the power of God or the spirit of God that is placed in the heart of man. That's right. All right. Isaiah 3 and verse 16. Move fast. Moreover, the Lord saith. Who? The Lord saith. All right. That gets Geno out of it. That's right. That don't mean nothing because your wife got a ring. No. That don't mean nothing because your husband got a ring. You can have a ring through your nose. That's right. While you got your ring through your nose or a ring through your upper lip and your tongue can be in the mouth of another man or another woman. Amen. So a ring don't do it at all. No, no. All right. right. Moreover, the Lord say it. Eh? Because the daughters of Zion are haughty. Haughty, ha walk, haughty, haughty, stiff necked, high minded, arrogant. Eh? Yeah. And walk with stretched forth necks and, what? and wanton eyes. Wait a minute. They got wanting eyes. Wanting eyes. Wanting, wanting, wanting. Everything they see they want and every one they see they want. That's right. Move fast. Walking and mincing as they go. Yes. And making a, a tinkling with their feet. Uh -huh. Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the head of the daughters of Zion. The crown uh, of the head the of the daughters of, of, Zion. of Zion. Read that again. Back in Isaiah 3 and at verse 17. Move fast. Therefore the Lord. The Lord. Will smite with the scab. Will smite with the scab. The crown. You can't miss that part. That's right yeah. there. Certain location. Right. The crown. The crown of the head. Crown of the head. Not just the head, but the crown. That's right. Of the head. Of the daughters of Zion. Oh, God of the daughters of Zion. And the Lord will discover their secret parts. Uh -huh. In that day. Uh oh. Amen. All right, Paris. In that day. The Lord will take away everything that God don't want you to have. He's going to keep telling you. Get away from it, right. or he'll take it from you. That's right. Uh -huh. In that day, the Lord will take away the bravery of the tinkling ornaments about their feet. Yeah, you got tinkling ornaments on the feet of the people now. Mm -hmm. Got rings now on their toes. That's right. Your oh, yeah. feet still need washing. That's right. That's right. If you Amen. think rings on your toes make your toes look better, you's a liar. Amen. All right. And their calls. And their calls. And their round tires like the moon. And the round tires like the Come moon. Come on, son. The chains. What? The chains. Some of you wear crosses around your neck for what? Got a cross with an image on it. Who is it? That's right. <laughs> I got Jesus. He's a liar. You got a chain. That's a chain. Jesus ain't no chain. That's right. And he's not on the cross. Everybody that got a crucifix with the image on it, it's a lie. That's right. Because you got him where he is not. That's, That's right. right. All right. And the bracelets. What? 
and the bracelets. It don't make your arm look more cuter. That's no. right. Sometimes you see some women got all these bracelets on, they move their hands so it could jingle. Yeah. <laughs> now you got men doing the same thing. That's right. That's right. That's right. Flapping both hands like a bird. That's right. That's right. I look stupid, don't I? Right. Viewer, I want you to know how you look. Right. Bracelets. Flapping arm food. <laughs> All these bracelets all on your arms. I don't care if it's metal, gold, silver, copper, brass, bracelets. or rubber. Man. Bracelets. The Bible speak plain. And the bracelets. Don't go tell me what Pastor Jen is. is it? Now they make bracelets. They had them back in the 60s. Made out of little cloth. Yeah, right. They woven. I right. don't care what kind of material it is. God says. And the bracelets. God says. The bracelets. The Lord will take away. The no, bracelets. Gino Jen is going to do it. The Lord will take no, away. No, you can't wear bracelets in Gino Jen is chair. The Lord will take away the bracelets. Don't go try to blame it on me. That's right. As the Lord say he's going to take it away, get it off your dirty wrist. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. All right. And the mufflers. Mufflers. The bonnets. bonnets. And the ornaments, the ornaments of the leg. Of the leg. And the headband. The ornaments of the what? Of the leg. Ankle chains. Mm -hmm. Ornaments. Holy women don't wear ankle chains. That's right. I see some old mothers, grandmas, grandmas, with an ankle chain. Why you wait till you get old and look like a whore? That's right. Hey, grandma, are you a hoe? Grandma, yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you a hoe? If you're not a hoe, grandma, take your ankle chain off. Hey, brother, why would you buy the label of a hoe or the trinket of a hoe for your wife? That's right. You so-called Christian-looking whores. Jumping in some church, flapping your ankle chains around, all on the choir, breasts hanging out, lips all red, nails painted red, purple, blue, green, long like bird claws, all this fake hair, breast implants, toenails painted with little fake diamonds in it. Your toes ain't richer. You're nothing but a prostitute. Amen. 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 So go, go to church now. Go to church. Right. Got nothing but a singing hoe, a shouting That's hoe, right. an organ playing hoe, a choir director hoe. Hey, hey, preacher, preacher, preacher. If what I just said describe your wife, you're married to a hoe. Amen. Am I right, sir? Amen. Talk to me. Amen. Hallelujah. A man that's a real man don't want his wife out in the street looking like a prostitute. And you a holy woman? Amen. Amen. Or claim you's a Christian? Amen. Christian with skin tight pants. Amen. Showing the very shape of your birth canal. Amen. Going to some church with the shape of your birth canal exposed in public and jeans all up the backside of your behind, right. carrying a Bible. That's right. Going to church. That's right. Yes, sir. Yeah. 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 A Christian woman, skin tight jeans, that look like a whore. You're not a Christian. You are pure sinner. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. You can be like this in man-made religion. That's right. But God said, be holy. Amen. Wonderful. Wonderful. The so-called apostolics now are doing the same thing. Same thing. Amen. Doesn't matter if it's choir rehearsal. Nope. They dress holy, choir rehearsal. Dress holy if you go to dinner. Right. Dress holy, go to the job. Right. Dress holy, go to work. Yes. Dress holy, 
in the laundry mat. You that's trying to live for God, if you get hired at a job and they tell you, well, you've been here several years and we noticed that you don't wear pants. Well, to keep this job, you got to wear pants. No, I don't. No, I don't. No, no. The job don't have a right to fire you because of your religious belief. The job do not fire the Muslim woman because of her headgear. Am I right, I said? I want to say to some of you women that claim you're Muslims, your headgear and your tight pants don't mix. Amen. That's right. Amen. No, you don't, sir. Amen. You cannot get sweet and bitter water Amen. from the same fountain. Amen. 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 Am I right? Amen. 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 Wonderful, sir. Our holy women, we don't bargain for jobs. No miniskirts. No splits. No exposed backs. No deep cut chests. No ankle chains. Come on, finish, finish up so I, so I can get his ring. Read fast. And the ornaments of the legs and the headbands and the tablets and the earrings. No earrings. And the earrings. What else? The rings. The what? The rings. And who's going to get rid of it? The Lord will take away. And what are you going to take away? The rings. Who's going to get rid of it? The Lord will take away. Who's going to take it away? The Lord will take away. Who's going to take it away? The Lord. And what are you going to take away? The rings. Wedding band. Rings. High school. Rings. Military. Rings. Friendship. Rings. Engagement. Rings. Wedding. Rings. Cracker Jack box. Rings. That's right, sir. <laughs> I don't care what it is. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. The Lord will take away the rings. Oh, yes. No rings when you get married. I don't care what material is made out of. No rings. That's right. Oh, this is so good. All right, Dan, come on. Dear Pastor Jenny. Normally, I don't get this many letters on one telecast, but I, got, I have over 35 or 40 packages of mail that I'm still trying to catch up on. My wife tells me, look, 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 Mr. Man, what are you going to do with all this paper around here? I told her I'm trying to catch up, and I am. I'm trying to catch up. All right, Dan, come on. Dear Pastor Jennings. You know, it's good they got the right information to help the people all around the world. That's right. All right. My name is Yolanda. Yes. I have been following you now for about a month or better, and I've learned so much listening to you teach the word of God. Mm -hmm. I would like to ask a question. Please.